Hello, what's up? Welcome to this channel. In today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how to set up XMU, the Xbox emulator, from start to finish so that you can play your games on your PC. And without anything further ado, guys, let's hop to my desktop and let me show you how to get the job done. All right, guys, let's get this tutorial started. So the first thing, guys, we navigate into our browser and we go in and navigate to XMU, Origin Xbox emulator. Download for Windows because it's not for, it's only for Windows, guys. So I already downloaded it. After you download it for, download it the XMU emulator, guys, we hop into to this page here i'm gonna leave a link in the description below guys so you don't have to go to try and error and don't be worried about virus and whatnot i provide you with it as you might see mu x mu files click on download and you're going to be good to go and i download as well this one here so we don't have to drag with this video more than we need with this all said guys we are gonna create after you have downloaded all those two files we're gonna to go to new folder and we're gonna name it x xbox and we're gonna put it right here you can put wherever you want to, it's up to you. But for the sake of the tutorial, guys, now we have again to the our folder. We go to downloads and you might see XMU Windows release and MU XMU file. Mark them both and drag them into the folder. Close this one here. And now we go inside the Xbox folder, guys. We're gonna unzip the XMU Windows release folder. Extract all. I use the native extraction uh, program in Windows 11, but if you don't have one, you can use 7-zip or WinRAR, but I recommend 7-zip. I'm gonna leave it as well, link in the description below. When you unzip this, this folder here, guys, you need now to unzip the XMU, XXMU file folder. Same thing, right click and extract it. Once it's done, I want you to go to take both those out and put them wh wherever you want to and it's going to look like this so what i want you to do guys now is to open xmu windows release and put the folder right here then open again the xbox folder and put right here and go to x mu xmu files and we want to take all those files here and put them inside the xmu windows release folder once that's done you can actually delete mu xmu files folder because it's empty close this one and close this one as well now open it again and it's gonna sh it should look like this once it looks like this guys you all good to go click on xmu yeah it's gonna pop to windows protect your pc click on info uh, more info guys and run anyway once you open xmu guys it's gonna look like this go to machine go to settings go to system and here we need the mcpx boot run so this one for this one guys we're gonna hop just click on it and we're going to go to desktop. We're going to go out to our boot folder that we created, Xbox, and we're going to boot RAM image. And that is MCPX one point bin, and we're good to go. The next is Slash Room Boss, BIOS, same thing, guys. Desktop, Xbox folder, XMU, and we're going to BIOS. And you're going to need the complex 4627 bin. Click on it and you're good to go. The last one is the hard disk, just the same thing. It's going to probably uh, pop up automatically but in just in case as well desktop xbox xmu windows release and we're going to pre-build xbox hdd image and click on it i think this one is automatically been uh, going to be uh, is automatically selected so you don't have to think about it. after you did all that guys we're going to display now for you it's going to look probably like this and probably a whole other resolution so what you want to do guys what i highly recommend go for times two don't be greedy times two the game is going to look crazy second thing guys you can do full screen enable full screen now full screen on startup it's up to you but the only thing that i think is important for this tutorial guys is to choose whatever your monitor supports my monitor is example supports 1440p but uh, for the sake of the tutorial guys i go for 1920 by 880 so it's going to be a little bit small otherwise it's going to take the whole screen with this all said guys we're going to inputs now inputs going to look like this you can use cable you can use your, your keyboard if you want to as you might see but of course to play those games best possible we need the xbox controller now you can use it wirely with wire with the wire the wire or you can use a bloaters if you want to use it with bloaters guys you need to um, um pair it with your windows if you don't have if you don't have bloaters on your on your operation system you can use wired so i use it bloaters guys as you as soon as you pair it with your pc and i turn it on as you might see the emulator it is the emulator automatically detects it and it even shows you i like this a lot this future that it actually works so as soon as you connect it with your pc and you turn it on and it's it's gonna the emulator gonna detect it automatically with this all done the only thing is need to do guys is to literally go to machine load this the games you can put wherever you want to and you're gonna need the file image it's gonna be like o i iso o i s o this is the file image that this emulator only supports i put my games in uh, d e drive rams 
X Xbox, and of course, guys, hey, I'm Epic and I'm OG, so I go for Halo Combat Evolve. Come on, man, for the extra views. So we're going, we, you, yeah, you, you click. By the way, guys, by the way, for, for those for those people that are new on, on the Xbox XMU uh, emulator, load this, and if you click on it, it's not going to start. It's still going to give you, please insert the Xbox disc. Don't worry, you did not do nothing wrong. Go again to machine and reset it only. You can enjoy the music, guys. And as you might see, it works. I'm not going to play because I don't know if I'm going to get copyright strike or whatnot. But before we go outside, guys, there's another video right there, guys. If you like this kind of tutorials. And uh, with this all said, guys, I'm going to get the heck out of here. Have yourself a good day. Embarrass. Keep it cool and stay awesome. My name is Emo from Emo Gaming. Hey, and I'm freaking out of here. Peace.